What's up guys, Proper Truth here. So today, what you guys are gonna be getting is actually an updated version of Omega's Mermel deck. You know, ever since we got Mr. Our Boy and all that, he, he's throwing that in there. He's even did a little bit about two or three card adjustments inside his deck. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this profile. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's try to get 500 plus likes, guys. So let's go. What's up, guys? So I'm here with Omega again. You guys, again, he's gonna give you guys a, a updated Mermel deck profile. Yes, 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 guys. I know you're tired of me. Hold on, I don't care. <laughs> All right, listen. The reason why he's here is because he's got multiple decks here. Uh, if you guys saw his last video, he actually, uh, he 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 said he topped with it. He went to nationals with it and everything. And he's uh, he's gonna give you pretty much a, a similar deck, the same deck, but this time with an extra deck. Um. I mean, not, not extra, a side deck and a better extra deck. And this is uh, after the ban list of September of 2017. So, no, zoos are dead. Zoos are dead, <laughs> so it's possible chance that Marymouths can do something now. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's get straight to it. You Pretty simple. Uh, basically, one lead, standard. Okay. Uh, play one. Not the best one, but, you know, still good. 27 beta. And his deck is actually not bad. People actually forget he actually searches the spell card or the track card back here, gave it to your hand and he pitches a card to have a trivial type position or a mill. I didn't even know that. Yeah, see if no <laughs> one knows what effectively everybody just plays he's twenty seven. Uh triple megalo. Standard. Everyone knows what Megalo does. Mm-hmm. One the B stick of the deck starts with TKs. Yes. Triple Teus. Teus. Still the best one of the best Mermos in here. He's a pitch one and like Megalo is a pitch two and he's pitch three. Kind of ironic how that works, right? <laughs> exactly. That's uh, crazy. Pretty much just search fodder. So it's, it's a double search. Pitch of dragoons, double search. And continue your place. Uh, the one turge, just to recycle your divas and your princes. That's about it, pretty much what he's used for. Actually, now he can recycle Miss Starboy because Miss Starboy just had to be 14. Oh, no. No, I like. He's, it's a level. Never mind. It's a level? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, level guys. Light. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Three pikes, still like this card at three. This card is a, it's another deck thinner. Plus, when you play your spear, he can pitch the cost so your triggers just pop cards on board. He helps, he, believe it or not, he's technically to me is an out, even when his effect negated, because pitching for cost is still free. Mm -hmm. uh, two lins, still Beauty. like this card. Beautiful. Uh, basically, she, again, she's another so you can't get killed right away. So pretty much just like punching, if you have the spears, like punching through three monsters. So she protects you. Also, just get in. She, even if you can't build the OTK, she still helps you rebuild. Uh, two guns. One of the best mer or mermels in here. Uh, you pitch in add uh, any mermel from your graveyard, to, especially some any mermel from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. Pretty much really good. Just help you recycle any of the mermels uh, for the key to your player. Uh, okay. That's it for the mermel uh, for the mermels in here. Okay. Now for the Atlantans. All right. Uh, Two dragoons. Unfortunately, I wish he could come back to three, but you know he's way too broken. Even even at two, he's still good. Three just <laughs> makes this deck even retarded. Uh, triple marksman. That's this to me is is a, a good murmur. He's help clear back row. He's the back row. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's not back row period. He's just any set card. Oh. Okay. So it could be a set monster or any set card period. But he's also you talking the back row, most of the back row set. Okay. Okay. Uh, triple infantry. He's the face up one, so most of you most use him for monsters or diagrams or anything that you probably met cards that's face up on the board where he just gets rid of. Uh and the ace monster of the deck, Triple Prince. Yes. This yes. was the when this card came out, this was the best support memos could have gotten. He's his effect one his effect is a cost. So Ashes or Organist card don't even matter really. Because I was just pitch for cost. It. Yeah, I would just pitch I'll add three pitch for cost. And then you can ask or whatever you want to do. He'll affect the effect like the whole point is just sing dragon and just keep going. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh for the non mermel for, for that's it for the Atlanteans. Mm -hmm. So for my uh, the rest of my water monsters, non Mermels or Atlantean. One moon and glacier. One of the best non one of the best cards in here. He's a pitch part, uh pitch two out of the opponent's hand when he's special summon. Good card. Pretty much every card has le have two or less cards, he just takes your whole hand. That Good. is <laughs> not cool. <laughs> uh one Aqua Spirit, so you can still make total Bahama Shark. Okay. Uh, one Diva, 
plays Supremes or the Infantry. Remember, guys, infantry, uh, heavy infantry actually gives you an extra normal summon. So you can play this, summon infantry, and then normal summon the Prince out your hand. Yeah, or vice awesome. versa. Or you can summon the infantry, summon the Diva Diva against the Prince. And I'll give you a place to go to Starboy and keep going. And for the last monster, one Maxi. Mm -hmm. Maxi is still one of the best hand traps in the game. No, I don't care what nobody says. That every deck still is much summoners for my draw free guards. Why not? Oh, yeah. Uh, for the spell cards, all my spells are one ofs. Okay. Uh, play the one abyss scale, one soul charge, mm -hmm. one instant fusion, okay. one salvage, and one reg here. Beautiful. That's pretty much, you usually play this. This is just to recycle for your level for uh, low, your 15 lower water monsters, so you can you know, pitch for your, merg your megalos and the infantry, I mean, the infantry uh, tanks and all that. Yeah, I guess it's clear boars for rare fish to make Bahamas sharks or any water place, or for even the Miss Dog right now. So everybody knows what Soul Charts do. Let's do that next way now. This is just, you know, stops first spell card and, you know, help boost for OTKs. Okay. All right. Uh, for the Not traps, bad. I play only five traps. I play Triple Spear. I know people want to talk shit about this card. <laughs> I, this card is, I don't care no way. This card is great. Like, this card outs It could stop you from getting OTK. It could stop you from getting OTK. It could deal with prominent cards because you can use this to summon the... Uh, any of the Pike or the Terrage or the uh, Lin, and it just keep going. Like it's a, it's a great out card. Uh, one order start spell cards. This doesn't really hurt you because you, you only barely, play you barely five players. spell cards in that's here, and you're pretty much gonna go through them before this fight even gets on the board. Okay, yeah, that's true. And one of them are searchable by Megalo, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it, basically, the spell card is a spell version of inf is of order. So, why not? Oh, that is true. But the uh, spell one only negates one. Well, it right? negates the first one that acts. It's a mandatory effect. Okay. But it it's not only see the thing, thing with this, it's not the activation, it's the effect of a spell. So even the spells on the field, I would, oh. you activate the effect, I'll just it'll negate it. So even like diagrams. Diagrams on the border right now, so negate the effect of the card. Uh, and for last card, one warning. Okay. Outs, everything. No masterpiece. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for the monsters, uh, for the main deck. Okay. 40, uh, right? That's 40 cards. Okay. Uh, let's go to the, let's do the side deck first. Okay. Alright, so for the side deck, I know people will tell you the main it, but I prefer siding them. What's that? Two game seals. Oh, uh, because he's water, that's why they're telling me. Well, he's me. a great water target, he all outs of the cards. I mean, the reason I prefer the sides is because pretty much the deck itself just pretty much outs everything by itself. That's true. This is only for stuff I really, really can't deal with at the moment. Okay. And then, for, and also just, just play it, trigger it, and then, you know, pop it. Again, water. So it keeps synergy in the deck, too. True. Uh, two Lanciers. Uh, this is going to be good. So this is going to be good, actually, for the next time, because... That next deck could also invoke metaphys might be a thing. That is true. So this will stop that deck. Also, Carnation is still at three, and that card is annoying as hell to deal with. <laughs> so you they chain Carnation, you chain this, your hand won't get banished, and it tricks us to go salty now. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit there and OTK you. Yeah, because they can't banish, right? No one can banish at all for the rest of the turn. And what's good about this artifact is act is not only you can set it. And we'll get power especially some, but it's also a hand trap, so why not play this? That is true. Uh, two is fine, don't need more than that. Uh, two skull master. I'm so glad this card got reprinted. Thank god. This card right. is actually really good. Sucks it, I got it rotted. Suck, uh, well, as you can't do in a battle phase no more because now it says the effect and not the activation. Okay, but it's still good. Use it against probably Zoics or ABCs and stuff like that, so you can stop the grammar. It's basically a hand trap dweller. Let's put it that way. True, Some dinosaurs too. Uh, double ogre. Still, a, still one of the greatest hand traps. I would play her over Ash any day. I think she's better because she gets it off the board. Well, yeah, she gets it off the board. Ash, yeah, she's just negated, but it's still got to deal with you because you're still there. Mm -hmm. Whatever that card is. So, like, so you diagram, you can, yeah, I can Ash it, but the diagram's still there. So, true. Uh, one system now. Uh, I want to play two, I just don't have the room for it. But this is just good for the ABCs. Apparently, I see Cosmos are coming back out too. Mm -hmm. So, I feel this is good for that or any of the future machine decks too. That might be good. Also, actually, if we're not thinking about it, it actually hurts spirals if you think about it. Because this, this of the, quick the fix and all quick that. Quick fix, yeah. So yeah, so something else over the card. Uh, one deep, two deep barriers. Mm -hmm. Paleozoics, sort of thing. Anything to single. Now that zoos are gone, it's just like these cards. It's not a main anymore. It's more of a side card now. Mm -hmm. But it's still out a lot of stuff these days. So, 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 so. Uh, and double strike. 
Strike is still a good card. Uh, got reprinted, so it's it accessible to everyone now. Mm -hmm. But it's still a great card. Helps you out. Uh, it's probably the only other card that can stop Link monsters too. True. Uh, that's it for the side. 15 side. 15. Uh, for the extra deck, my two boss monsters. Let me stop. <laughs> Broly. <laughs> Broly and Kyogre. Kyogre. Very characters. Well, my favorite legendary is all from uh, Sapphire and Ruby. So do I you use Kyogre. Three? Yeah, I use Kyogre for uh, uh, Mermails because it's water. I need a Prima Cargo, so let me know if you guys let me have one. <laughs> <laughs> and Broly's just my favorite character, period. Uh, now, for the real side deck. Extra deck, I'm sorry, guys. He I did. played one Trishula. Of course. Standard uh, banished cards from the Great Era. Water. Uh, water everywhere. One Coral Dragon. Still a great card. Uh, Synchro Tuna, which is awesome. Let's you draw a card. Mm -hmm. Also, he'll trigger the uh, Atlanteans and stuff effects. The simple fact is he's water, you activate for his effect. Uh, one Bionic. Oh, I'm so glad he's uh, at two. He's at two now, but unfortunately, I can't find a room for two unless I take him out. But I prefer to play one of each, only because this pop card just returns him. And he's a router, too, which sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's it for the same, because I don't play Tatsunako anymore, just because I took it out for uh, the Miss Starboy. But, you, but I don't really find it useful anymore, but you guys see why. Um, one Flare. Still one of the best sixties in here. Mm -hmm. Rank 7 Burn. Like, I, I burn better than you, better than Tricksters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of his guiles helps deal with problematic cards. Level five ahead, card get attack, and anything weaker than him, he can de he can negate. Like now, when Miss Starboy and Dweller are out and the spell card, he just becomes one big beast. He's controller, yeah, yeah. Uh, one it, big eye, again, snatch just steal. snatch and steal is deal problem because sucks to can't attack. But hey, you keep the card, so it's great. It's still the one Draco sack. Still one of the best six C's in here. Still one of the best C's, break seven six C's anyway. Anywhere, yeah. Uh, deal with to tokens. Uh, he can die by dark hole. He's 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 immune to board wipes. Great card to play. Uh, one th number thirty seven. Hope wavering. Uh, this card's an out. So a lot of stuff too. He went in battle phase. Stuff you can't deal with. So you detach one. He'll decrease everything by a thousand. And you just punch over thing. He's twenty six. So he'll become weaker to him. And technically, when he dies, he's a monster reborn. That's so, insane. Yeah, it's a really good card. Uh, one Bahama shark for your toe plays. Mm -hmm. One arc out okay. card still stack and steal. Technically, best card to play. He outs Link monsters. They have to stay in attack mode. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. <laughs> Him yeah. And, and Infinity. They out them. Don't forget that guy. <laughs> also, great look. He's water. Triggers on Lantian's effects. Yep. Uh, still play the one Castell. Mm -hmm. So good. I know some cards of his out there still can't, can't be targeted. So a great card to out. Uh, so you can shuffle back anything back onto the board. So, so good card. One Dweller. Dweller is a great graveyard control and his water trigger everything. Everything with game 500. He'll boost the entire deck basically. Uh, the one Toad for the Bahamas Shark negates anything. It's easy to play now Now with the, the Link Monster out. Uh, that's it for the Exceeds. Uh, the one Fusion I play for Instant mm -hmm. Fusion is Redfish. Fish, just so you can make the Bahamas Shark any other one monster I need at the moment. And for my only Link Monster, the, the one Miss Starboy. This card actually is broken and you only play one i only play one only simply because i can recycle this card like with what basically since he's 14 uh-huh oh so yeah you can recycle that yeah it'll just go right back into the extra deck and now imagine him with dwell on board they, that's everything true. gets a thousand and even if you really want to uh hope where we can bring him back when he dies too if oh, he's in the graveyard. Even worse. So, and remember, he increases all water monsters by mm -hmm. four, 500. So these become be bigger. I had a Megalo on board that was at 4,400. Attacking yeah. that twice. <laughs> because of uh, Starboy and um, Dweller? It's, no, well, it was actually just Starboy and a spell card. Oh my goodness. That's insane. No, okay. And Deck has been working with you since... Uh, Mr. Deck has been performing really well. With him, since Miss Starboy came back. Okay. Deck has been performing really well. Uh, it's a really good card. Uh, also, too, what it reminds me, Miss Starboy actually helps with your plays because mm -hmm. when he dies, he has the ability to act like just like Miss Radiance. Mm -hmm. He has the same thing for water monsters, which is great for mermails because then you can just recycle anything in the graveyard and just go off, keep playing. And no one, you guys know mermails, they just keep pitching and start playing. Again. You guys search anyway. So it's just like this deck just became I search the world. <laughs> you have a, a combo to show us? Oh, uh, yeah, I can show you a combo. Uh, Technically, this actually it's combo is really easy. It's actually probably like like I said, this could be like a two card combo, really. Perfect. Just show the two cards then. So technically, it could be either this and Diva. Okay. 
or technically, or you could just have Prince and just go off by himself. And that gives you a, a flooded board. So basically, if you were to say, for instance, you had you had this, say this is still the deck, right? And these mm -hmm. two in your hand. Uh, I could normal summon the Diva, Diva Effect, two special. The other two cards should be any, you know, Mermel, mm -hmm. uh, uh, effect of that to get the, let's just say this, the other two in my hand is, uh, let's say these two, oops. There's a pipe. These two are the cards in my hand. Okay. Uh, so yeah, do that, and you'll activate the prince. Dump dragoon? Yeah, add, uh, so we'll pay cost to dump the dragoons, add the dragoons, the dragoons effect will go off now. Uh, let me turn it this way so you guys can see it. To turn, add the dragoons. Mm-hmm. Then obviously at the dragoons to activate to get the megalo. Okay. Then the megalo effect to special by pitching these two, and then your trigger. Uh, you can choose now due to the rule. You can choose the order you like. Personally, I would level. I don't like this getting negated, so I always say chain one, chain two, and that way this doesn't miss uh, the the pipe doesn't miss timing. So okay. yeah, so you do that. And then megalo get the searches. spell. This is in your hand, guys. Remember that. Get the pipe back into the field. Mm -hmm. Pipe effect will activate. Pitch this. Now you get two searches. You get the search of the uh, moon and, uh, the dragon. Dragons. You get the search the of the pipe. So most likely, sometimes I always usually search for another gun just in case this something happens, just to be safe. And then I will search the my favorite one of my favorite plays, the moon and glacier. And what makes this even better, you can also just do this. Get rid of these two to play. No, no one and only. To play the Miss Star Wars, now he opens the link board for you. And then that, the look you know guys, now you have exactly five played next to the Megalo. Make sure you keep this spot open. And and they all get a, an attack boost. Now they all get an attack boost. I think the Megalo trigger this, the effect of this, to play this. Now, at this moment, this play is pretty much optional to you. So you can overlay either to Bahamas or to get the Toad, just in case you can't kill your opponent. But most likely, this is OTK. So I'll just to be safe. I don't know my opponent's. I don't know my opponent's playing, or if he's playing something that could probably stop me, like True Drake or whatever the spells track card. I will play the Dweller, just so I can detach. Get one. I will trigger the Dragon's effect again to get another search. That's insane. Which I'll get another Sea Serpent. So most likely I will just search probably. Most likely I'll just search another Drag uh, Megalo, just for next turn in case you do live this turn. Ironically, you shut it. <laughs> <laughs> So that way now the track cards, the spell cards can't trigger if he does activate it. And then I'll quit this to the Megalo. My Megalo gains is 34 from these two plus an 8. Now I'm now 40, 4,200. 42 and... and this one Glaze is now 38. 38. And he's 27 and he's 23. 24. 24. 24. And basically this is this is game. I'm 4,200. This Just the way you're out of me. That's insane. All, all of this. And then any of you, your opponent has like enough plays to even live this turn. Mm. I still have control of your graveyard. First one you have to is the gated. I lo you lost two cards out your hand. That's true. And if you kill this, I'm just gonna keep. I get to play back anything back from my graveyard back to my hand, no matter what you get. And then I just ha I have another mega in my hand already to keep playing. That's insane. So I can I have a new no one already the gun. I can add back the marksman just so I can just kill shit on your board. And no matter what I draw, I still have two water targets in my hand. Mm -mm. So Mermo that's a two card combo. Mermos are broken, like. <laughs> All right, and you think you can be able to do something this format since the ban list hit? Yeah, I think I could do a lot. Uh, I might. We're supposed to be going to ARG this weekend. Uh, me and my team. I most likely will be playing Mermos. I was debating whether to play Blue Eyes or Mermos, but as of right now, I need to fix my Blue Eyes. I gotta feel a little more comfortable with my Mermos as in, than my Blue Eyes right now. So, but this and this Saturday, guys, if you are in this New York City, I will highly suggest going to the OTS Championship at Mel's and uh, Order. Truly Urban. Truly yep. Urban, yeah. Highly suggest going there, guys. Uh, we'll all be there for top four there. gets the invite tonight. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, look forward for that. But yeah, guys. All right. That's pretty much some duck for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for tuning in. See ya. So there you guys have it. That was an updated Mermel deck profile for you guys. It was pretty interesting, right? Because you know what's funny? I don't really do a Omega's Mermel deck like that because he doesn't really use it as like uh, as that much. He's starting to use it now a lot, and I didn't even realize that deck can do a two card combo OTK and that's insane that's pretty impressive you know just off of a uh, diva and prince or diva infantry and prince that's that's crazy that's crazy and i thought i thought um my life ones were doing uh otks so if you guys enjoyed the deck profile don't forget hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed for more Yu-Gi-Oh content thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you guys at the next video later